This video illustrates the smart settle infinity process applied to collective bargaining. The objective is to illustrate how the smart settle process promotes the company vision, conflict resolution in a more peaceful, collaborative, and intelligent way. We've chosen a union management case study based on a hypothetical but realistic example called MATO. MATO, Metropolis Association of Taxi Owners, is renegotiating its agreement with the city of Metropolis. The current agreement with the city administration mandates that the city spends a minimum of 2% of their annual budget to subsidize taxi services. Mato feels that this is inadequate. Mato is demanding an increase in the taxi subsidy, that the existing cap of 4,000 annual permits be maintained to ensure that their existing members have enough demand, a reduction in the standards for taxi vehicles, an increase in the maximum fare rate of $2.50 per kilometer, and an improvement in insurance and pensions. The leader of Mato has threatened protest activity. One problem for the city is that a law called Proposition 7, which is scheduled to be voted on in two months' time, would limit municipal budget increases for any department to a maximum of 1% over the previous year's allocation. If Mato's demands were to be met, it would be hard to keep within the limit. We are going to show how the parties quickly resolve the issues using interest-based techniques and Smart Settle Infinity's integrative negotiation methods. The parties will solve their issues not only fairly and easily, but in a way that optimizes their mutual satisfaction. Our objective is to help you imagine how the Smart Settle Infinity collaboration system can be applied not only to complex collective bargaining cases, but also to many other kinds of formal decision-making situations, having multiple decision-makers with conflicting objectives. Before we begin the simulation, let's review the Smart Settle Infinity Collaboration System. Imagine Infinity as an automated mediator, perfectly neutral and trustworthy, safe and secure, with super intelligence, available anywhere, anytime. The system can accommodate any number of parties, but this example will show only two parties, the city of Metropolis and a union called Mato. The parties can be trained to operate the system themselves, but skilled facilitators are often employed to ensure that Infinity delivers the best attainable outcome for all parties. At the core of the neutral site are nine key algorithms that are designed around an optimization process that fosters collaboration while delivering a better outcome in a shorter time. The first task of the parties is to work together to build a single negotiating framework, SNF. The SNF is like the final agreement, except for blanks representing issues to be negotiated. Creation of the single negotiating framework is usually an iterative process that the parties may even return to after they begin exchanging proposals but it must be complete before the parties reach a baseline in order to legitimize the final improvement step and produce a final binding agreement. The modeling phase starts out with parties working collaboratively together after they have documented everything that they agree on with a single negotiating framework that SNF is modeled within infinity. The final step in the modeling process is done with each party privately. Here we see the issue listed in importance to Mato. Each issue is assigned a negotiating range, with Mato's preferred outcome on the right-hand side. The importance scale is arbitrary. In this case, Mato set 100 points for fare rates, and each other issue was assigned an importance relative to that. With preferences well represented, the parties can negotiate with packages, which is far superior to negotiating issue by issue. The packages that parties create or are generated by the system are automatically assigned confidential ratings for each party. These ratings allow the parties to easily compare proposals and suggestions and quickly decide whether to accept them. Parties reach a baseline when they have all accepted the same package. And if preferences are well represented, Smart Settle can be asked to find an improvement if there is any value left on the table. 
Let's move now to the Smart Settle interface and see how the solution phase plays out from Mato's point of view. This is Mato's private point of view. Listed in the left panel are the issues corresponding to the blanks in the single negotiating framework. Mato has ordered these issues according to importance. Each issue has a negotiating range, which Mato has oriented such that their least preferred outcome on each issue is on the left-hand side. Getting everything they want on every issue would be worth a total of 248 points. Behind each issue is a satisfaction graph that defines how they become satisfied on that issue. The satisfaction graph for fair rates is strongly concave, reflecting the fact that Mato would become quite satisfied with a moderate increase in rates. The graph for pension increase is moderately concave. The permits issue has a strong concave graph, indicating that their optimal decision on this issue is to leave permits at 4,000. Increasing the permits by about 1,000 would not bother them too much, but Mato becomes increasingly opposed to more permits after that. The group insurance discount is only slightly concave. Vehicle standards is an optioned issue. Mato would be halfways satisfied with the premium option and mostly satisfied with the standard option. The member assistance graph shows that Mato would be mostly satisfied with the counseling option and advocacy would be almost as good as fitness. The strong concave graph for agreement length indicates that the optimal length of agreement is around 40 months, but 30 wouldn't be too bad either. Budget has a linear satisfaction graph. Mato doesn't care much about what is decided on this issue as long as they get what they want on the other issues. Behind the scenes is a formula that calculates the cost of a particular package and makes sure that the taxi subsidy is greater than the cost. With preferences well represented, Mato can create packages. Every package has a rating corresponding to the cumulative value for every issue and represents a possible comprehensive solution for the whole negotiation. Mato has created a private reference package named Status Quo. This outcome or anything equivalent to it would gain Mato nothing, so they would never agree to this or anything worse. For ease of comparison, Mato sets the rating of the Status Quo package to zero. Now they will know easily that any package with a negative rating is unacceptable. Relative to this is another package, which Mato has named Dream, and in between is a planned concession, which they consider possibly achievable and a target package. Mato would be quite satisfied with any outcome that is at least as good as their target and be reluctant to concede below this level. Now Mato is ready to submit their first proposal. When they do so, it is matched with a proposal from the city. It is far from acceptable, but it does help to narrow the ranges. The parties could continue exchanging proposals just like in traditional negotiations, but they can also take advantage of what Smart Settle knows about how each party would become satisfied. So Mato asks Smart Settle to generate a suggestion. Package 3 appears, which is worth 53 points. Mato inspects Package 3 and accepts it. The yellow dot that appears is a secret acceptance marker. Neither party knows which packages the other party has accepted, but an agreement will be declared at the end of a session if both parties have accepted the same package. Mato ends Session 1 to check for agreement, but there is none. In Session 2, Mato proposes their possibly achievable package as a visible concession. The city also makes another proposal, but it doesn't look much better than city's first proposal. Mato also decides to put their target package on the table as an anonymous suggestion. Such a package is also called a masquerade because it is a proposal that is masquerading as a suggestion. This feature minimizes bias that one party may have towards proposals created by the other party. Mato is disappointed when there is no agreement in Session 2. Since they've already conceded as far as they want to, Mato declares Session 3 as final. 
Mato is ready to end final session when package 10 appears. Package 10 is quite different from package 7, which you recall was Mato's target package. However, since its rating is slightly better, Mato inspects it carefully. Concluding that package 10 is indeed acceptable, Mato accepts it. But when Mato ends final session, they are surprised and delighted when package 3 becomes the baseline. Before announcing this result, Mato agrees to let Smart Settle check for any value left on the table. After an intensive calculation, Smart Settle suggests package 11, in which Mato gets more on fair rates in exchange for agreeing to a lower subsidy. Smart Settle was able to make this feasible by juggling the other issues. Since fair rates are very important to Mato, and they don't care much about the subsidy as long as they're still getting what they want on the other issues, they readily accept package 11. Since City has also agreed that this package is better than the baseline, it becomes the final agreement. In summary, this simulation showed Mato negotiating with the City to reach a baseline agreement worth 53 points over the status quo, compared to their target set at 39. Smart Settle then found another package that became the final agreement and was worth 95 points better than the status quo. This improvement was worth as much as some of the most important issues to Mato and more than twice as much as their target. The process you've seen from Mato's point of view is called multivariate visual blind bidding. Here is a graphical representation of what happened. The vertical axis measures Mato's satisfaction. They want an outcome as close to the top of the graph as possible. The horizontal axis measures city satisfaction. They want an outcome as far to the right as possible. An outcome at the top right corner would completely satisfy both parties, but that is impossible, constrained by a boundary called the efficiency frontier. Both parties need to achieve something better than the status quo, which is the lower boundary of the zone of possible agreement. The target level set by each party define a smaller zone of likely agreement. When parties begin the bargaining phase by exchanging optimistic proposals, these packages are likely to fall outside the zone of likely agreement. However, subsequent packages, whether from the parties or smart settle, may be acceptable to both parties. And if so, one of those becomes the baseline. The final step is to invoke Smart Settle's signature algorithm, maximize the minimum gain. If there is any value left on the table, this algorithm generates an improvement on the efficiency frontier that is both fair and efficient, delivering the maximum value possible for both parties. If there were three parties in the negotiation, the efficiency frontier would look like a surface. Smart Settle's multivariate visual blind bidding has no theoretical limit to the number of parties or issues that can be supported, and the process is no more difficult for each individual party than what we've demonstrated in this video. All they need to do is focus on their own preferences, and Smart Settle will look after the rest. Be sure to watch the companion video that shows this simulation from the city's point of view. Thanks for watching.